What if the oil you pour into your engine, 0W20 or 5W30, decides whether it lives to see half a million miles or fails before 120,000? This isn't speculation. Independent lab testing has revealed results that shocked even manufacturers. From wear rates to oil consumption, the truth goes far beyond the label. Today, we're uncovering the real science behind these two oils, what protects your engine, what doesn't, and the one choice that could quietly save it, what the numbers actually mean. Let's decode those mysterious oil numbers most people never really think about. When you see 0W20 or 5W30, you're not just looking at random digits. The first number, followed by a W, stands for winter. It tells you how easily your oil flows when it's cold. A 0W oil stays thinner and pumps faster during freezing starts, protecting your engine when metal parts are dry and temperatures drop below zero. A 5-watt oil is a little thicker, meaning it takes slightly longer to circulate, but still performs well unless you live in extreme cold. The second number, 20 or 30, describes how thick the oil remains once your engine reaches full operating temperature, around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. A 20-weight oil stays thinner for better fuel economy, while a 30-weight oil holds a stronger film under heat and pressure, offering extra protection for moving parts. Think of it like this. 0W20 flows faster. 5W30 holds stronger. Both have their place. But how they behave under real-world stress, long drives, and high heat is where things get interesting. Cold starts and the efficiency. Edge of 0, W20. Most engine wear doesn't happen on the highway. It happens in the first few seconds after you start your car. That's when oil is still cold and thick and metal surfaces rub before full pressure builds. This is where 0, W20 oil shines. Because it stays thinner in freezing conditions, it moves through the engine faster, coating vital components almost instantly. Your starter motor doesn't work as hard, your battery drains less, and friction is reduced before you even leave the driveway. That quick flow also gives a small but measurable fuel economy boost. Independent lab tests and automaker data consistently show about 1 to 3% better MPG when using 0 W20 over 5 W30. Not huge, but noticeable over tens of thousands of miles. In colder regions or for drivers who make short trips, this difference can mean smoother starts, quieter idling, and less strain on internal components. However, faster flow doesn't always mean better protection. While 0W20 performs beautifully during winter commutes, its thin film can be challenged under high heat, heavy towing, or extended idling. It's the classic trade-off, efficiency versus endurance, and understanding that balance is the key to choosing what your engine truly needs. The thicker oil advantage, 5W30, under pressure. When engines heat up, friction and pressure skyrocket. And that's where 5W30 steps in. Compared to 0W20, it maintains a thicker oil film at high temperatures, which means stronger protection for moving metal parts under heavy load. Imagine towing up a steep hill, idling in summer heat, or driving at highway speeds for hours. These are situations where thinner oils can begin to break down, but 5W30 stays stable and keeps its cushion. That thicker film also helps reduce wear in older or high mileage engines, where bearing clearances widen over time. It's why many mechanics quietly recommend 5W30 for vehicles with over 100,000 miles, especially in warmer climates. The oil resists thinning, maintains hydraulic pressure, and even reduces ticking or rattling that some engines develop with age. Yes, you might lose a fraction of a mile per gallon, but in exchange, you gain durability, cleaner pistons, less oil burn, and stronger film integrity during stress. In real-world tests, 5W30 consistently showed lower wear metal levels and reduced timing chain stretch compared to 0W20. It's not about thick versus thin. It's about matching your oil to the way you drive. And 5W30 plays the long game. Why automakers push 0W20? Anyway, if 5W30 protects better under stress, why do nearly all new cars come with 0? W20 printed on the oil cap. The answer isn't mechanical. It's political and financial. Automakers are under intense pressure to meet government fuel economy and emission standards. Every fraction of a mile per gallon matters. 
By switching entire fleets to thinner oils like 0W20, manufacturers can claim a measurable improvement in efficiency across millions of vehicles, saving them millions of dollars in potential fines. That doesn't mean 0W20 is bad. It simply means it was chosen primarily for regulatory targets, not because it's the best choice for every driver or climate. Even major automakers quietly acknowledge this. Internal bulletins from brands like Toyota and Honda have noted that higher viscosity oils may improve durability under severe driving conditions, but they stick with thinner grades to hit CAFE and EPA goals. Here's the twist. Outside North America, many of these same engines are factory filled with 5W30 or even 5W40 oil. In Europe and Japan, where regulations differ and long-term reliability often outweighs fuel economy marketing, the thicker grades remain common. It's the same engine, just a different strategy. And that tells you everything about the trade-offs hidden behind that little label, when 0W20 works best and when it doesn't. Despite all the debate, 0W20 oil absolutely has its place when it's used under the right conditions. It's ideal for modern engines built with tight internal tolerances, precision bearings, and advanced variable valve systems. If you live in a cold climate, make mostly short city trips, and drive a light vehicle like a sedan or compact SUV, 0W20 can actually extend engine life by reducing startup friction and improving oil flow during freezing mornings. However, problems start when this thin oil is pushed outside its comfort zone. In hot or desert climates or under heavy loads like towing, mountain driving, or aggressive acceleration, the oil film can thin out too much. Once that happens, friction rises, temperatures climb, and microscopic metal contact begins. The first step toward long-term wear. Engines with over 100,000 miles are especially vulnerable. As tolerances widen, 0W20 may not maintain enough pressure, leading to ticking lifters, oil consumption, or even timing chain stretch. That's why many experts recommend stepping up to 5W30 or 0W30 once your vehicle ages or sees harsher conditions. In the right environment, 0W20 is efficient and clean. In the wrong one, it can quietly shorten your engine's life. Hidden heat zones, the real enemy of thin oils. Even if your temperature gauge looks normal, parts of your engine experience extreme, unseen heat, far hotter than most drivers realize. Deep inside the cylinders, between the piston rings and the cylinder wall, temperatures can spike beyond 500 degrees Fahrenheit. In turbocharged or direct-injected engines, that's where the real oil torture happens. At those temperatures, 0W20 oil begins to lose its film strength. Tests like ASTM D4683, which measure high temperature shear stability, show that once oil thins past a critical point, the protective layer separating metal surfaces starts to fail. That's when microscopic scuffing begins, invisible at first, but cumulative over thousands of miles. In comparison, 5W30 maintains a thicker and more resilient oil film, giving an extra layer of cushion under high heat and pressure. It might not seem like much, a few microns of difference, but inside a modern engine, that's enough to prevent contact between piston skirts and cylinder walls. Teardowns from independent labs consistently show darker varnish and scuff marks on engines run with thin oils over long, hot cycles. The takeaway? Heat is the silent killer of thin oils. And once that film breaks down, efficiency gains mean nothing. Oil consumption and wear the cost of going too thin. If you've ever noticed your car burning or losing oil between changes, the culprit might not be age. It could be viscosity. Thinner oils like 0W20 are more volatile, meaning they evaporate faster under high heat. Laboratory tests, including standardized volatility studies, have shown that 0W20 can lose nearly twice as much mass through evaporation compared to 5W30 during sustained 400 degrees Fahrenheit testing. That vapor doesn't just disappear, it's pulled through your PCV system, coating intake valves with sticky carbon and clogging emission components over time. This oil loss also affects timing chain wear. Chains rely on hydraulic tensioners that use oil pressure to stay tight. When the oil thins or burns off too quickly, 
Pressure drops and the chain starts to stretch. Automaker service bulletins have documented measurable elongation in engines that consistently ran zero, a help U20 under high heat or turbo conditions. Switching to a slightly thicker oil like 5W-30 often reduces both consumption and noise almost immediately. The stronger film resists heat, stabilizes tensioners, and minimizes oil vaporization. It's a small change with big consequences, because losing a quart of oil every few thousand miles isn't normal. It's your engine crying out for thicker protection. The secret middle ground, 0W30, the best of both worlds. Between the cold start efficiency of 0, W20, and the durability of 5W30, lies a middle ground that many engineers quietly favor, 0W30. It's a blend that delivers the same effortless cold weather flow as 0W20, but with a thicker protective film once the engine reaches full operating temperature. In other words, it offers the best of both worlds, fast lubrication at startup and stronger resistance to breakdown when the engine is working hard. In engineering circles and enthusiast forums alike, 0W30 is often mentioned as the longevity oil. Lab studies have shown that it provides up to 25 to 30 percent less wear than 0W20 in extended high temperature testing, with almost no measurable drop in fuel economy. It's no coincidence that European automakers, including Audi, BMW, and Volvo, use 0W30 as their default viscosity for both turbocharged and naturally aspirated engines. For drivers in colder regions who still tow, drive long distances, or keep vehicles past 100,000 miles, full synthetic 0W30 might be the perfect balance. It's rarely advertised by dealerships, but it's often the oil engineers themselves choose for in-house durability testing. Not the thinnest, not the thickest, just quietly the smartest compromise. How to choose the right oil for your car. Choosing the right oil isn't about guessing, it's about matching your engine's needs to your driving reality. Start with your owner's manual, but don't stop there. Most manufacturers list a recommended oil, like 0W20, yet also include a range for different temperatures and driving conditions. For example, many manuals note that 5W30 or even 10W30 is acceptable in hotter climates or under heavy loads. Those alternate grades aren't wrong. They're there for a reason. Next, consider your climate and driving habits. Live somewhere cold, take short trips, and rarely rev past 3,000 RPM? Stick with 0W20 or 0W30 for better startup protection. Drive in hot weather, tow, or take long highway runs. Move up to 5W30 or even 5W40 full synthetic to maintain film strength and oil pressure. Always check for certifications on the label. APISP, ILSACG, F6A, or ACEAA 5 slash B5 for modern gas engines. These standards ensure the oil meets wear, sludge, and deposit control requirements for today's engines. And when possible, use full synthetic, not blends. Synthetics resist heat breakdown and keep engines cleaner for longer intervals. The right viscosity isn't just about performance. It's about ensuring your oil matches your world, not just what's printed on the cap. The final takeaway, what automakers won't tell you. At the end of the day, both oils, 0W20 and 5W30, can keep your engine alive. The difference is how they do it and for how long. Automakers promote 0W20 because it helps them meet strict fuel economy and emissions targets. That thin oil saves fractions of a mile per gallon across millions of vehicles, cutting corporate penalties and boosting green statistics. But thinner doesn't always mean better, especially for drivers who plan to keep their cars beyond the warranty period. If you live in a mild or hot climate, drive long distances, or regularly push your engine, 5 W30 full synthetic will often deliver quieter operation, lower oil burn, and stronger protection under load. It sacrifices a drop of fuel efficiency, but gives back years of extra life. For cold climates or short trips, 0W20 or 0W30 makes perfect sense, fast, efficient, and clean. The real truth is this, 
Your engine doesn't care about marketing claims or dealership stickers. It only cares about film strength, temperature, and maintenance. Choose your oil based on science, not slogans, and your engine will reward you with smoother performance, fewer repairs, and longevity, the factory never guaranteed.